Hi, welcome to this week's video. It is a makeup tutorial by request. You guys have been inquiring quite a bit about the makeup colors that I've been wearing in the most recent videos. And it has been pretty much the same look. There is a certain consistency going on. Things that you've probably seen in the past, maybe with a combination of some new things being put together that are really popping this look, uh, which starts with a little bit of color. I self-tan. Self-tanning is everything in terms of making this work. So I'm going to put on the foundation. It's going to get a little bit deeper to match my skin tone and you'll see what I'm talking about as it all comes together. So come on, let's get tight. I'm going to start with a brow pomade and start to fill in the brows with a nice little angled brow brush just to give a little bit more warmth, depth, and definition. Use very light strokes to fill in in the way that the hair grows and just slightly flick it out. Always go with a light hand. You can build and add more. But you want to be able to sort of see through what you've done so it has a three-dimensional effect. You can actually see some skin through what you've added. Makes it much more natural that way while still filling in and adding some depth. So the eyeshadow palette that I'm going to use has been featured before. It is the Tardist Pro. And what I love about this palette is the array of colors. They are all matte colors, except for here on the right-hand side. There are some shimmer options to be able to pop on top of your lid. Gives you a little bit of creativity there. Cools and warm tones. I will be focusing on a little bit more of the warmer tones. I'm going to mix this top color and this bottom color here, and they'll be listed for the eyelid. So it's sort of a blush warm pink. Using a firm brush, I'm going to go in and just press this color onto my lid and move up into the crease line. These tones together uh, work well. It's nice when you have a little bit warmer skin tone from a self-tan. It really warms up the face and you'll see how it all comes together. So this is a nice medium tone. I don't like to do too light on my eyelid, and if you haven't seen my hooded eye tutorial yet, it'll explain why as we age, it's best to avoid a super light color for your lid and also the value of going up higher in your crease line. So I've created here just an artificial crease, a little bit of height in my shadow, which opens up the eye. So now I'm going to block it in with this warmer brown that you see here on the bottom and this is going to go in the outer corner of the eye. The brush that I'm using is sort of a rounded brush, not too thin, not too fat. Just creating our outer border for the eyeshadow. And we're just focusing on the outer third of the eye here. And all harsh lines can be whisked away a little bit later. Now I'm going to take a very soft blending brush and I'm going to go in in one of the shades that I used for the lid, this bottom one here, which is my lighter shade. I'm just gonna apply a tiny, tiny bit of that color, shake it out, and I'm gonna use this now to just blend this top line and soften just carry it out a little bit. No hard lines. And finally, for a little brow highlight, this top color here. Thinner brush, firm, running it right underneath the eyebrow. And the inner corner. So moving on to eyeliner, I found one by 100% Pure called Blackest. I love it because of what's not in it, but it also is a real soft glide eyeliner for top lining. So if you followed me before, you know that I like to top line in the upper lash line only. So I'm going to take this liner, run it from underneath, and focus on those top lashes. Starting on the inner corner and building out.
This is a good time for me to check in. How are you guys doing? You good? Is everything okay in your life? I you know we've uh, all been through the most unusual set of circumstances this year. 2020 is kind of like the twilight zone. Um, and everybody's sort of in different states of weariness. So I just want to make sure you're okay. Thank you for being here. It means a lot to me, it really does. Um, if there's anything I can do on this platform to be of any help, please let me know in terms of content, okay? Mat that matters to me. Okay, the top line is done, so you can see it's built in a thicker line on that upper lash line, which is where I like to focus my attention. So the same brush where we applied the color to the lid, I'm now going to mix those same two colors. And I'm just gonna smudge a tiny, tiny bit on my lower lash line. You know I don't like to place a lot of emphasis on the lower lid, only because we don't wanna do things that pull the eye down. But I do find that smudging a similar color, especially a, a lighter to a medium tone, helps to sort of tie the whole eye look together. It does add some definition to that lower lash line without being a harsh line, if that makes sense. Okay, mascara. L'Oreal Voluminous Lash Paradise. Just to prove you can get good stuff at your drugstore. I've had lots of fun videos on drugstore tutorials and makeup and things that have even surprised me. There's some great stuff out there. Upper lash line only. Next. I find with this mascara, it's so thick and concentrated and the brush also allows for a lot of the mascara to build on the lashes. I only need one coat with this one. You can do more depending, and you can also stop after mascara has been applied, or you can do a magnetic lash or a false lash if you wanna carry this look into more of an evening look and give the eyes that much more of a pop. So when this dries, I will apply my magnetic lashes because I'm going on to work and I need to have a stronger lash line at work because the lights in the camera just cut through everything and make, make you look naked. It's the weirdest thing ever is what it is. Okay, so let's uh, finish up now with concealer. Still using Tarte Shape Tape. I know you ask a lot if I have uh, discovered a new concealer using anything new and I am still on the very same one. So I guess that tells you a lot about this product. Let's say bye-bye circles. Little goes a long way with this stuff. What brush am I using? I know you guys are gonna ask. Oh, it's by It Cosmetics. It's a dual-sided brush. Definitely better. This might be an extra dab of concealer kind of day. <laughs> you ever have one of those? Where the normal amount just isn't quite cutting it? Well, that's today. That's all right. As you see, I, I sometimes just go like this, just down the bridge of my nose, just to highlight that a little bit. Okay, I'm feeling better about that. So now that my mascara has dried, the lashes that I will apply are the Ardell Magnetic Accents, right here. Two lashes, an upper and a lower. You take the upper, you rest it on your upper lash line just take your time positioning it where you think it ought to be. It's still there. Take your finger, hold it down, bring the other one to meet it, and just kind of gently pinch together until they've met. And if you're happy with the placement, as I think I am with this one, then you're good to go. And sometimes it takes a while. <laughs> See, I just want to show you that that there are days where it just doesn't pop on instantaneously. I struggle too. Today is one of those days. Need more concealer, need more time for my lashes. Is what it is. Powder, powder, it's breaking out in a sweat. Okay, contour and highlight, still Kat Von D shade and light. I still blend. I like to use these two outer colors for my contour.
Do that if you got to, to help you find the right place. I go up in my hairline, just where the sun would normally give you a little bit of color. Tip of my nose and jawline. And pull it down. Blush, blush, blush. I can't even read with glasses. This is so bad. Time for a new script. Rose Doro, I think. Yeah, that looks about right. Anyway, it'll all be in the description portion, but it's a beautiful kind of a rose gold color. See? And it's drugstore. up highlighter I'm still using the spray by Patrick Ta it's a wonderful iridescent this is what immediately gives you that sun-kissed look warms up the skin so I just use it on a uh, angled brush here by Gentry Kelly actually it's more of a fan brush for highlighting just spray it into the brush and lightly hit the cheekbone area tip of the nose top of the lip chin and a little bit on the forehead and then I take a highlighter let me find the right brush I'm going to take a highlighter by my friend who has art on it here in Houston art on it very ingenious anyway it's a beautiful kind of pearl white because I kicked a little iridescence here I want to have it just underneath my, my brow bone to complement. Again, it's not too much, just right. Okay, we're just about done. Lips, 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 lips. Huda Beauty's Flirt Lip Liner. I love, it's a nude brown color. It goes with practically anything and everything. Here we go. I use my finger just to soften that line. My, my summer favorite, Angel Alessandra by Charlotte Tilbury, to me is the most beautiful peachy nude. Has enough warmth in it to go with so many different skin tones, but it's still a nude and you can, you'll see. <laughs> you'll see. Okay. So you see the warmth that it has? It's not a totally nude. Sometimes nudes just flatten you out. This one still pops in some color. And I need that warmth. We all need that warmth. What I have been putting on top in the past videos is Huda Beauty's Angelic, which is a kind of a goldish light, light pink. And I only do a tiny, tiny bit, but it's this iridescence that kind of picks up with everything else that I think you've noticed. And it lightens it ever so. I just focus on the center part. And there's something about just having warmth in your skin tone with these colors it immediately feels like you've been on vacation. <laughs> Maybe that's why I like this look so much. Maybe that's why I've been wearing this all summer long. Maybe all of 2020. So I feel like I'm being transported somewhere. I don't know. Could be um, something very deeply psychological going on here. At any rate, I've been paying attention to your comments and there were a lot of them asking for a tutorial on this. So I'm happily I'm happily or happy to oblige. Um, hope this is helpful. Again, more comments, lay it out, what you need, what you like, what you want to know. I'm here for you. I hope everything is okay and well. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and you find it easy to put together. And I'm assuming that many of these things you may already have if you've been following me, or you can at least figure out how to use your own products to come up with something very, very similar. Go out, be bold and be blessed this week. Be a little glowing and glistening. And I look forward to seeing you next Thursday at one o'clock. Love you.